I started to realize I was part of something special, like late elementary school, fourth or fifth grade. As soon as I would see all of these seniors graduate, and when they would graduate, they would be crying so hard. And at first I didn't really understand why they were crying so hard, but then I started to hear their stories of when they were my age at the time, so elementary school, and how long they've stuck with it and how they feel like they're a part of a family, which is something I feel now. And leaving that family is difficult. And I will have to be leaving that family soon with the accounts retiring. And I'm feeling that pain now. But I'm just, I'm really glad to be a part of, you know, a family. <laughs> I started off as primarily a band person, and I joined the choir as a junior in high school, enjoyed that very much. But I studied music at IU and majored in both choral and instrumental music because it made you more marketable as a teacher. But in my first job, Union City, Indiana, where I taught for a year and a half, I quickly discovered that I had a special interest in choir. You can get to the music faster. So even though I taught band here at Logansport for a while as well, Choir became my favorite thing very quickly because you didn't have to deal with broken instruments and reeds and springs and pads and all those kinds of things. Just get right to the music. I was in third grade and I was auditioning for LCC and it was me and Elijah Bolt. And Eli came out of the room crying because he was scared and so I didn't want to go into the audition room. And I was very, very intimidated by him. Like, I almost started crying. I was so intimidated. Tim terrified me, and I would just remember being really scared because of Tim. Um, it all went well, and I got the letter in the mail, and I started, and I haven't quit since, so obviously it's not that intimidating. <laughs> most, most of the... F my favorite memories were the ones that were not planned. The ones that just happened. Um, singing in Mammoth Cave, the first time we did that. Um, yes, we were singing This Little Light of Light. So a song about light in the darkness in the darkness of Mammoth Cave was just, it just happened and never forgot that. I hate to say that this is my favorite memory, but when, when Tim fell on the Swift Choir trip, I felt so horrible for him, but then he had to ride a couple of us scooter over to Disney World and all the pictures that we took with him. That is probably my, the funniest memory to me. Tim and Susan have affected my life because they have become sort of like a second family and every Wednesday when I go to choir, um, it's just like the atmosphere in there is so amazing and I feel safe almost. And like I'm at home with my family. They basically watched me grow up. So I mean, they've been there obviously for every choir concert, but they're also there when I have like my little singing stuff for the high school or when I did variety show, not variety show, um, thespian showcase in middle school, they were there. So they're just, they're always around. It's gonna be really hard to watch them not be around anymore. Tim and Susan have inspired me to become a music teacher myself, and they are basically like my parents, Tim, my grandparent, and Susan, my parent. <laughs> I see them more than I see my own family. And we're just, I would like to say we're really close. <laughs> I hope so. Um, but they've really inspired what I want to do with my life after high school. Uh, we hope that the new people that have been hired uh, will be received well by the students and their parents and their staff. We think they're gonna be great. We think they're gonna bring youth and enthusiasm to the program, which I think it, it could use. Um, and, uh, you know, hope everybody gives them a chance because you know, with being brand new teachers, there'll be a little bit of a learning curve between somebody who's done it for 43 years and somebody who hasn't walked into their own classroom at all yet. So, but I'm confident that they're going to be great and I hope 
I hope the program is able to grow and hope people are able to schedule the class and give it a try and, and be in choir because um, it's, it's important. Music is important and music is important in people's lives and choral music especially with the aspect of the words that can really speak to people. I hope they will continue and be led to understand the tradition that they are inheriting as we were. Uh, this, we've been there a while, but this was not the beginning of fine music at Logan's Park. I just listened to the recordings over the weekend of a group of people that worked with pre prior choir director, Mr. Joseph Hoffman, after he retired, he had a couple of concerts for uh, good causes, fundraising with former students. And I was reminded how far back the tradition of fine choral singing is in our town. I hope that continues on. We were glad we were part of continuing it ourselves and had the honor to do that.